Hey, what's happening, YouTubers? We're back another action figure review. And today we're taking a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Batman based on his appearance in Superman Speeding Bullets. Now, admittedly, I didn't know this version of Batman until my good friend Rob D. Toys got me hip to this version. So basically, this is like if Cal-El, aka Clark Kent for those who don't know, <laughs> was adopted by Thomas and Martha Wayne. And same events of Bruce happened, but he his parents got murdered. Essentially, he found out he had powers at the time they were murdered. Then later on, he becomes the Batman. Anyways, it's a pretty dope concept and dope storyline. So having learned that, it made me want to purchase this figure. But without further, like we always do, let's get started with the box art first. So it's the same thing you'd always see from your DC Multiverse boxes from McFarlane Toys. Has the logo on the bottom, Batman right there. Then on the side, it has the DC Multiverse logo at the top. Batman from Superman Speeding Bullets. And then McFarlane Toys logo on the bottom. And then on the back is the image of the figure. That's enough about all that. Let's go ahead and get Batman out of the box. All right, here's Batman out of the box. Let's take a look at his accessories first. So he doesn't come with the normal DC base plate, but he comes with a flight stand that we've seen before from McFarlane Toys. So it is pretty easy to assemble. You basically just lock this in like that, and it clicks. And I do prefer these flight stands more so than the base plates, so I'm not going to be tossing this. Then he does come with an additional set of hands, so two-fisted hands. And just like all DC Multiverse figures from McFarlane Toys, has the trading card with the image of Batman, which we saw in the back of the box. And then on the back is the data file. Feel free to pause it if you want to go ahead and read it. Now let's take a look at the figure itself. And we get started with the head sculpt first. And I got to say right off the bat, I really like this head sculpt. Yeah, I know some of y'all might be thinking it's just Batman with his mouth being covered. But the reason why I like this is because you can see the attention to detail on his face right there. You can see his nose and his mouth and his chin going through. So you can definitely see his face through the mask. And I think they did a fantastic job sculpting it. So I wouldn't expect anything less from McFarlane Toys when it comes to the sculpt, since that's always the, you know, the general consensus, the sculpt. Now we'll take a look at the rest of the figure. It's your basic Batman color palette. So you have the blue, the black, the yellow, and the emblem and stuff like that. But I do love the design of this. I especially like the cape, the sculpting of it. And I know I've mentioned it several times before, and you all are going to get sick of hearing this. Now let me know in the comments below if you are, because <laughs> I'm still going to say it anyway, so F it. But... I like the way that McFarlane Toys is able to sculpt the capes that to a point where they, they look like soft goods. I'm not saying they are, but they look like they're soft goods. So I always got to give them credit where credit's due. In terms of the rest of the suit, you can see this pattern going down his arms right here. So there are some differences between this and a regular Batman outfit. But you see this, that pattern going throughout the whole side right here. And it's consistent all the way through the boots. Now, another thing to mention, the ball joints and... You know, I don't have to really mention it as much anymore because it's the standard now. But when you look closely here, there are the sculpted ball joints. So this one looks like it blends in with the glove. Now when it comes to the boot and the ankle ball joints, obviously this has been a huge improvement, especially the last few reviews I've done. As you can see, it looks like it blends in with the boot, so it's one consistent piece. So again, I got to give credit where credit's due with McFarlane Toys. Another thing I wanted to call attention to is the emblem. It has kind of that Superman outline on it, but with the Batman logo in the middle. And I think this turned out really great. And right, now we're going to take a look at articulation. So it's your standard 22 points articulation or 22 moving parts, however you want to look at it. But the head can go from side to side and can look up about that much, which isn't bad. And then it can look down that much. Now it has those faux butterfly joints in there. Also has the shoulder swivel, double jointed elbows, which again, I'm not a fan of that cut, but it is what it is. Then of course the wrist ball joints, which have the hinge in them. And then here's the diaphragm cut. And this is one I really wanted to test out because at first when I took it out of the box, I noticed it could go. Now, I'm not including the hip joint, but it is a lot better than previous McFarlane Toys figures we've gotten before. Of course, with the ball joint at the hip, it does crunch even more. Now, going backwards, <laughs> skydiving poses. <laughs> and then also has the leg that can go out that much. So it can kick up pretty high. And double jointed knees. And of course, ankle articulation with those ball joints. And pivot. And then also the useless toe articulation. I, I'm still not a fan of this. I mean, if it's if it's going to cut costs to get rid of the, the toe joints, I'm all for it. Just because we don't really need it on a Batman. Well, I don't know. Maybe a Batman, but not on other figures. Now we're just going to jump right into size comparisons. And first size comparison... Here's Batman standing next to a couple of the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse figures from Wave 1. We have the Action Comics 1000 Superman and the Action Comics 1000 Blue Variant Batman, which is funny because this character is essentially a fusion of both of them. And I think in terms of scaling, I mean, it's about pretty consistent. He is slightly taller than Superman, even though he is Superman himself. But I think it turned out great. Like I mentioned, 
The color palette's kind of similar, but I do like the difference in the gray on here. It's a little bit darker than the Action Comics 1000 version. And an exercise comparison, here's Batman sitting next to a couple other Superman variations. We have the Future State Superman from Worlds at War, and then the Bizarro Superman. And I initially thought when this figure came out and I looked at it out of the box, I thought this buck was a reuse of the Infected Superman, which is also what this Bizarro is on. I stand corrected. It's, it looks like it's a different buck. If it isn't, let me know in the comments below. And last size comparison here, you see the next couple other Batman figures. We have the Batman 3 Jokers Batman, aka my favorite Batman in the collection so far. And then the Flashpoint Thomas Wayne Batman. The only thing is, this is my favorite Batman, but the, cr the crappy thing is just he towers over other figures. Like, he is taller than this Batman figure and taller than other characters. So the scaling is still off, but this thing would be perfect if he was scaled a little bit more appropriately and if the trunks were also black too. But still my favorite Batman nonetheless. This is actually a close second now. All right, some overall thoughts on the figure. This is a good figure. I really like it a lot. And for those of you out there that are complaining, oh my gosh, McFarlane Toys is giving us another Batman. Maybe you should take The Rock's advice and... Know your damn role and shut your damn mouth. Well said, Rock. And the reason why I mention that as well is because this is another example of McFarlane Toys giving us a DC character that we've never gotten in figure form. And I'm glad I got hip to this and I'm glad I got hip to the storyline. So shout-outs again to my homie Rob D. Toys. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below, YouTubers. Are you going to be picking this figure up? And prior to this release, have you ever heard of Superman speeding bullets? Let me know in the comments below. And like always, if you like what you see, be sure to hit that like button. If you haven't already yet, subscribe to the channel. Go ahead, subscribe. Thanks for watching.